Alright everyone, welcome back to Skyrim. Now last- oh god there he is. Last time we left off we attempted to do- what was it? Proving Honor? Proving Honor. We attempted to do Proving Honor and found that it was a little bit too difficult, not for me, but for Farkas. Farkas was uh... well he was slacking. Let's- let's not- let's not make shit up. Anyway. Because we have practically infinite money. I thought I thought for a second that first question was, how old are you? <laughs> no, but we need to buy a horse. You've got the deal. It's the one with the saddle. Not today. Sold my last one. Pretty sure I sold it to you. I've never bought an actual like proper. No, oh, it's even got my name. I've never like bought a proper horse horse. If that makes sense. Like, I've always just gone with either Frost or Shadowmere. Just because I love named horses better than generic ones. But, I was thinking that for this episode... Well, I guess this also applies to future episodes. But, I've always wondered what a lot of the interactions in Skyrim are like if you've got level 100 speech. Right? So... I kind of want to find out. Oh, you there. The Dawn Guard is looking for anyone willing to fight against the growing vampire menace. What do you say? Uh What's what's the I haven't really noticed a Have we noticed a menace? I don't think we've noticed a menace. You're not paying attention then, like almost everyone else around here. Haven't you heard that the Hall of the Vigilance was destroyed by vampires? Nope. They never took the threat seriously. And now they've paid the price. Well, sucks to be them. Vigilance, Dawnguard, what are you talking about? The Vigilance mostly hunt down Daedra worshippers, which is why they got torn to pieces when they went up against vampires. But? That's why our leader, Ezron, is re-establishing the Dawnguard. Real, serious vampire hunters. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Uh, where do I sign up? Ha! Huh. Ezron's going to like you. Go talk to him at Fort Dawnguard, southeast of Riften. He'll decide if you're done, Isn't Riften you're... already southeast? How the hell would you go even more southeast? Anyway, like I was saying, I think it would be quite interesting to see what it's like to have level 100 speech and maybe a few perks into certain persuasions and intimidations. Um, and then sort of, uh, sort of just see where the game takes us at that point, because... I've never successfully persuaded my way into the College of Winterhold, and I would like to see if that's even possible. So, I think we're going to go to our friendly wizard up here. I think his name's Faringar Fire Shooter, or Faringar Fire coming out of my ass, I don't know. But he seems friendly enough, and I think he's probably got... Some of the better items to sell to spam level up speech. So, how are you doing? It seems Secret fire. Alright. I want to say the most expensive items are best. So we might go for a uh, scroll of fire storm. To just continuously sell to him. Um, all I have to offer is this Yarl from Yarl's... <laughs> is this letter from the Yarl. So, we're gonna hopefully do this correctly. I've read this letter, correct? Hold on. Just need a... Okay, yeah. You know, we've, we've read it, we've read it. I just, no, I don't want to miss out on a quest. No. It probably wouldn't let me sell it if I hadn't read it already, so it's fine. So we do this, we go up here, we press E on the scrolls, never mind, doesn't matter. Um. I guess we're on this tab now. Alright. Wait. Wait, what? I'm confusion. Oh. I think I messed something up. Whoops! Good afternoon. No, I didn't- I don't care about your life story, I'm sorry. Oh! I'm sure Arcadia will provide- Oh! Good. You're clearly better suited than I am. I did not realize you had a minor quest to give. My apologies. Um, we will buy these, just so we've got something to practice this with, because I'm still not that great at this trick. So, 
hold left click, go up, press E. And now these are his. So we just press E again, and then, no. Yes? Yes, okay. How fast does this... Okay, this looks like it's going to work well. Anyway, I'm going to spam this level up. And uh, I'll see you guys when we hit 100. Because we are going to break this real quick. took a long ass time and got me a steam achievement but we did it <laughs> I don't know how long that took but it was only like I don't know I'll, I'll have sped it up by like 10 maybe 15 times so uh, I'm sure someone can do the math on how long that took me but we've just gotten this straight to 100 and like I said this is one of my favorite perks this is also a great perk for getting even more gold um, Oh, can barter stolen goods with any merchant you have invested in. Okay, interesting. So this left side is just is just bargaining and merchant and selling things sort of thing. But this other side can bribe guards to ignore crimes. Persuasion attempts are 30% easier. Intimidation is twice as successful. So we probably want these two to finally look at all the options, all the dialogue options that are usually really hard to pass on your first try. So... We're gonna go ahead and deliver those frost salts to Arcadia, was it? The uh You've been seen in the company of the companions. That's an honorable path you're on, friend. Thanks. I'm the commander of the guard here in White Rock. Oh, I see. Looking to do some hunting, eh? I see. Avoid British in pass. Okay. So I, I I get what was going on there. He he was just like, Wow, you're a member of the companions. That's that's really cool. Nice. And then the poor commander was just like well, I'm the captain, so whatever. <laughs> Getting jealous. Anyway. I ain't done nothing. That is a double negative, my friend. Alright. So, we'll hand this over to Arcadia, just because we're kind and it's on the way. Uh, I have some frost salts for you from Faranga. Splendid, splendid. It's for a special brew I'm working on. A love elixir? A love elixir like none other. Oh, damn. Maybe I'll test it on a foreign guard first. Shit. Oh, but I suppose you expect some compensation. Um, here. These potions should suffice. Okay. I, uh, I didn't realize sh there, was, there was a bit of a thing going on between those two. Interesting. Okay. We're going to look what she has for sale. And if she has what I want... We will buy some. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. What we're looking for here is... Well, first of all, imp stool's great. Um, but we're also looking for salt. Does she not have salt? Salt piles. Those are also great. Salt piles. Uh, I suppose we can grab some wheat for more health potions. Because we've been grabbing blue mountain flowers along the way. Very nice. Okay. But yeah, once again, we're going to be either renting a room, or maybe we've still got it rented. So we're going to sleep, because we can't level up in survival mode unless we sleep somewhere. And the bed has to be ours, otherwise... Oh wait, no. It doesn't have to be ours. But still, it's best if it is. If it's work you need, give me a room. Are you joking? You just rented a room. From okay, well, no need to make fun of me. All right, it's it's been a while. Okay, um, right, we live up here. Uh, how many levels did we go up just by going to a hundred in speech? Uh, okay, so we want more health. We want more stamina. More health. More stamina. More health. More stamina. More magicka. Uh, more health. Instantly to level 20. Just just real casual. How many perks do we have? Nine. Alright, let's... See, this This is how you speed up a playthrough. You just, you just make it insanely hard, but allow yourself to use glitches. 
and everything's so much nicer. Uh, we don't care about buying and selling prices, really. I just want this. That'll make our money stealing so much easier. Uh, we can invest gold with the shopkeep to increase their available gold. Eh, we don't need that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say we don't need that just yet. Um, we don't need that either. Let's... Well, I think we're probably going to need to level things up before we can actually uh, invest points into them. That is generally how this game works, if you uh, did not know, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll throw something in there. Um, anyway, uh, we've got three extra perks for whenever we need it, which is beautiful. We awaken feeling very well rested. Now, we have all of the perks required to absolutely annihilate any sort of persuasion or intimidation attempt ever. Right? And we can even bribe the guards, but I don't really care for that, because generally I don't do anything wrong. But if if anything... Here, here is my promise to you guys, and this is how I like to play anyway. Um, if some shit does hit the fan, or... Uh, let's put it that way. Some metaphorical shit. If some metaphorical shit hits the fan, like we accidentally kill people that were not necessarily hostile, but were hostile towards me for some reason, or in any way, shape, or form, if we do something illegal and we get a bounty for it, and we have committed crimes against Skyrim and its people, then I will not quick save or quick load to get out of that situation. Unless an important NPC has died during 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 the the fact during the fact uh, how do I get off my horse? Is it E? Because E is not working. Oh right, I needed to uh, be more in the open. Right, um, but yeah. So for the most part, I will try and avoid quick saving or quick loading to get out of a shitty situation just because I can. Right? Okay. We are going to travel to Windhold. And I forgot that you can't actually get in that carriage and then turn and ask him to take you to Windhold. You! Take us places. Ride? Yes, please. Uh, that one. Climb and back and we'll be off. Also, I, I found this really interesting. Um, but the reason why some of those places uh, more expensive to travel to rather than others is that it depends on if the city has a stable right because if the city has a stable then it's a real it's it's just super easy for the the traveler to just be like oh yeah easy here you go I've been looking for you. oh got something I'm supposed to deliver your hands only okay let's see here. there's a new museum opening up in Dawnstar. oh the owner is asking me to hand out invitations to travelers okay looks like that's it Got to go. Okay, well that leads to one of the more broken weapons in the game. That's cool, that's cool. Museum pamphlet. Silas Vesius presents the Museum of the Mythic Dawn, a history of the cult that toppled the Septim dynasty. Inside of his own his very own home in the great capital of the Pale, Dawnstar. Free and open to all citizens of Skyrim. Cool. Great. And he just happened to ask you to hand some things out and you came all the way to Winterhold to hand it to me. Nope. Sorry. Not some horrible monster was turned inside out and then exploded. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. I've already corrected it for future experiments. This. This is why people have a problem with your college, Nelikar. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. Oh, whatever. Um, I just came here looking for food. Drink for the thirsty, food for the Cause hungry. we be hungry. Um, hmm, cooked pogfish. How could I not buy that? Uh, grilled chicken breast. Just any time I see one of these guys, I just need to buy everything that has like over 100 or 200 points of hunger healing. Mm -hmm. Cause that's just insanely nice. You know, we've got... Oh, we can eat the evidence. Apparently that was stolen. So if we do that, we should... Perfect. Okay. So, we're going to see if we can join the College of Winterhold. 
Can I make sure my experiments don't blow up, Izzy? That's not an understanding. That's a, uh... That's more of, um... An ultimatum. <laughs> you look after me and I won't blow up this in. Alright. Alright, so this is my first speech check. Okay. What is this place? Oh, forgive me. Yeah. Most who arrive here do so because they have heard of the college beforehand. This is the College of Winterhold. A safe haven for mages and Skyrim. Cool. A place of wisdom and arcane knowledge. Very nice, very nice. I love me some knowledge. May I enter? Perhaps. But what is it you expect to find within? Uh... I want to use the power of ice and fire to destroy any who oppose me. I see. That power certainly exists, I assure you. Wield it faithfully, and few can withstand you. Damn. It would seem that the college has what you seek. She's very the open to that. Now is what can you offer the college? Uh. Not just anyone is allowed inside. Those wishing to enter must show some degree of skill with magic. A small test, if you will. All right, this is it. This is it. I'm gonna quick save. Can I quick save while in this menu? I don't think so. Anyway, I think we both know I'll succeed here. You know, I think you're right. Oh. I think you'll be a superb addition to the college. Mm. Welcome, apprentice. Intriguing. The bridge. Once you're inside, you'll want to speak with Mirabel Irvine, our master wizard. Please follow me. Very interesting. Normally, well, at least normally for me. Oh, magic. Cool. Um, but yeah, normally for me, and I'm assuming for most players. If you, uh, if you try and tell her that, she'll say something along the lines of, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. Take the test. And the test is essentially to cast a certain spell. It's, it's really a pathetic test. It's just, I'll give you a spell. You need to cast it and prove that you're worthy. But, uh, yeah, I guess I've never maxed out my speech before doing this. So I just skipped the test completely. Nice. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. Because I think the one spell that kind of screws you over is the Flame Atronach one. Because, for the moment, why am I following her? What the hell am I doing? I can just run ahead. Um, but yeah, usually the Flame Atronach is a little too costly. And if you haven't got too many level ups under your belt, you won't have 132 or 33 magic or whatever it was. So uh, it can be a little bit of a pain. Yes. I'm simply trying. You may be used to the Empire <laughs> bowing to your every whim, but I'm afraid you'll find that Balnor received no such treatment here. You are a guest of the college, here at the pleasure of the Archmage. I hope you appreciate the opportunity. Yeah. Yes, of course. The Ar Very good. <laughs> then we're done here. I don't actually know what I'm doing to cause that, but I love it. Uh, essentially, this guy's a prick. I have many important. Your concerns are not alone. And he's such a prick that nobody cares if you actually hurt him. Admittedly, though, we are very weak. So even if we did do that, he'd probably kick our ass. But yeah. Um, wait, Mirabel, perfect. Welcome to the college. I was told to come Another see you. New student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are. Well, first you'll need these. While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. Oh. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? Uh, nope. I see. Well, please let me know when you are. I will. Thank you. I just want us to go straight to class. <laughs> so, essentially, our friends are in here. And kind of, what are you doing, really? Hello. Welcome, welcome. We were just beginning. Mm -hmm. Please. Stay and listen. Happily. So, as I was saying, the first thing to understand is that magic is, by its very nature, volatile and dangerous. Unless you can control it, it can and will destroy you. Mm -hmm. Sir, I think we all understand that fairly well. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't control magic. Of course, my dear. Okay, okay. Sassy, but certainly possess fair, some fair. inherent natural ability. That much is not being questioned. What I'm talking about is true control, mastery of magic. It takes years, if not decades, of practice 
study. Mm -hmm. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Let's. Please, please. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Eagerness must be tempered with caution, or else disaster is inevitable. And we've Nerd. only just arrived here. You've no idea what any of us are capable of. Why not give us a chance to show you what we can do? Yeah, true. You've been quiet so far. <clears throat> what do you think we should Yes, do? I've been quiet. Um, I think we should do something practical. Is that so? See, he agrees with us too. Why don't you actually show us something? Yeah, nerd. All right, let's settle Sorry. down. Sorry, that's rude. I suppose <clears throat> we can try something. In continuing with our theme of safety, we'll start with wards. Wards are protective spells that block magic. Very handy. I'll teach you all a ward, and we'll see if you can successfully use it to block spells, all right? Would you okay. mind helping me with the demonstration? Oh, God. Are you at all familiar with ward spells? Uh, no. That's all right. I can teach you a very basic ward, one that's enough for the purposes of this lesson. Cool, cool. Now, if you just stand right over there, I'll cast a spell at you, and you block it with the ward. That sounds very over dangerous. Over there, please, just opposite me. All right, do we naturally just know a ward spell now? Beautiful. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, cast the ward spell and keep it up. Okay. Hold still. Excellent work. Very nice. Well, I think this is an excellent start. See what I can do, Farkas. See what I can do. I think yeah, be intimidated. Uh, anyway, let's go back to Flame Atronach. The college has undertaken a fascinating excavation in the ruins of Sarthor nearby. It's an excellent learning opportunity. I suggest we meet there in a few hours and see what awaits us inside. Cool. Excursion time. Let's go. Out of my way, loser. <laughs> uh, Alright. So we're well on our way to becoming a master wizard. However... What you learn here will last you a lifetime. I've always loved that quote. What you learn here will last you a lifetime, several if you're talented. That is beautiful. He's essentially saying if you master it enough, you, require assistance with summoning techniques, please you can live long you enough to uh, if you would, live through multiple lifetimes. Your summons to the college grounds. The locals do not need to be agitated further by Atronachs roaming their town. Fair enough, fair enough. The summoning of undead is even less advisable outside the college. Okay, so I can do it inside the college. Cool, cool. Um, can you teach me about Conjuration? I'll teach you some of what I know, but be careful. That will help us out quite a bit. Uh, so what have you got for sale? In terms of books. Alright, here we go. Uh, you don't really have much, to be honest. That's fine. That's fine. You can have one of those. And that seems very fair to me. Alright. Just gonna steal your gold. Don't mind me. Thank you. See ya. All right, then. <laughs> Wait, can we do that with everyone? No, we can't. Well, we can steal everyone's gold. We just can't level up from everyone. I think it limits us to five learning skill level ups a day. I'm bad with words. Anyway. Um, oh god, I've just realized I've made a fatal mistake, haven't I? No, this is one of a very few places where you can receive a real education in this The air is treacherously cold. I've never heard that word be used to describe the weather. Oh. Okay, maybe that's a lie. That's a lie. I've never heard it used to describe coldness, but I suppose treacherous seas, like a, a sort of pirate thing. Now here's the fatal mistake, I don't think the College of Winterhold, or Winterhold in general, has a stable. If you're here for sightseeing, well, then you've seen the sights. Might as well head somewhere warmer. <laughs> Lol. Um, I am very chilly, aren't I? Right, so here's the problem. Winterhold does not have a, uh, a stable. Now, I did mention that earlier. I just didn't really think about the implications of it. And so this means if we want to get to anywhere, like a stable, 
we have to walk there because fast traveling is not an option available to us. Um, that's fine, but I think we'll do that in another episode. You're here for sightseeing. Well, then you've seen the sights. Might as well head somewhere warmer. Why do you keep saying that? As if it's like, this is all the sights I need to see. You're trying to tell me your town's like super fucking amazing? Anyway, um, but yeah, so we, we've, we've done some pretty, pretty cool things this, uh, this episode. We've managed to get our speech to 100 because we're very persuasive. Um, we've entered the College of Winterhold, we bought ourselves a horse, and we delivered some frost salts for Faranga. I, I, I don't really see how much more progress you could ask for. No I'm not, alright, I'm wrapping it up. Anyway. Um, I think in the next video, we might even... It might be a little too soon. It might be. But, we might try and head back to Whiterun to get some more alchemy supplies. But I think with these new levels under our belt, maybe we will do better in retrieving the fragment of Wuthrad for the, uh, for the companions. So we might give that another shot in the next one. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, everyone. Have a lovely day.